Alrighty, here is that 13 Expedition. It has not gone through the detailer, it has gone through the shop. So at the end, I'll pause it and go look at our recondition list. You know, did we do tires, brakes? Looks like rubber is really new. I don't know if we did it, but someone just did tires on that. Second row bench, it is heated. There's an outlet in back. Do have remote start, power lift gate, heated cooled front seats. Does have backup camera that's in the rear view mirror. You know, there's gonna be a few things. Nothing is perfect when it's 10 years old already. And if you don't get to Brainerd that often, um, we can strike up a deal. Once it's detailed, we will bring this to you, whether you have a trade-in for my driver to bring back or not. We're about 20 cars backed up in detail. You know any uh, teenagers in Brainerd Baxter that like to be a detailer? So we sell a lot of what I call dirty vehicles that haven't been detailed yet. We just bring them to the folks when it's done. No funky smells. They were not smokers. So the couple of oopses. And then, you know, this is aluminum lift gate. So you do have some oxidation there. You do have the third row power. All right, let's go see mechanically how this thing checked out. Be right back. All right, went through our full vehicle inspection, synthetic blend oil. We did front pads and rotors. That's all it needed. You know, usually a 10 year old vehicle with over 100,000 miles, our average reconditioning list is 2,800 to three grand. The fact that this did not have that tells me one major thing when whoever owned this when it needed something they fixed it again most of these suvs with this miles has about a two to three grand uh list of what we did to it so it looks like the last owner really kept up on maintenance give me a call troy here with mills gm